what is the deal beautiful people it's your boy ramon lifestyles defined let's talk about blackberry good old blackberry they refuse to go quietly into the night so this device is called the the dtech 50 and uh it's a strange device for blackberry to me personally for someone who's owned the blackberry for so many years there's so much about this device that just looks like a departure from the core dna of who they are just what they do uh <laughs> first is the name i don't know blackberry's been usually pretty good about coming up with their names and this is just a god ugly name and you know i get it i i'll i'll mention what d tech is in a minute but man the name is terrible i, I wish <laughs> i wish it was it was something else but it is what it is so d tech is actually the name of their security software and um it's yeah I, I mean i guess they decided to call it right right what it is and this is by no means the flagship so you guys if you've been on the channel for a while uh you've seen my blackberry priv review if not check that out and uh, i i was a fan i was a fan of that device i think it was dope i think the hardware was was a lot more amazing than people were giving it credit for. I think the keyboard was amazing, and I thought there were some really, really good decisions and tasteful decisions that BlackBerry made on the OS front in, in terms of leaving it kind of, kind of, sort of stock Android and making a, making some improvements where they were needed. And they had things like the uh, the BlackBerry, the BlackBerry Hub that was still there that was pretty dope. So, coming off of that, and then I see something like this, and I go, okay, well, what is this? This looks like a mid-range device. It is a mid-range device. Uh, in fact, uh, I guess this guy is going for about three, three to four hundred dollars somewhere around there. And this is what they're calling a reference design. So I believe it's an all tech, all, all, all tech, all tech, whatever the name of the company is. BlackBerry pretty much paid these people for their designs, and they they made it their own. <laughs> whatever I, I again like i said this type of behavior seems like a departure from the blackberry i knew and although you know we we are we weren't always on board with the the, the bbos or even uh the blackberry 10 os one thing i always expected from blackberry was solid hardware they knew how to make really attractive hardware this going out and paying for shit not so sure how i feel about it doesn't really feel blackberry to me but I, I mean i you know it's i don't know how to feel about it i i was very pleased with the prev they showed me they still got it and then there's this so whatever so the the at the core of it you've got a it's a small device so it's a 5.2 inch display it's a 1080p uh it's a qualcomm 617 which is is the middle of the road processor and it's just three gigs of ram so it's got enough to operate and from all the reviews I, i've seen the videos it seems okay it seems like it just it just works especially with their decision to keep the os kind of kind of scaled back and muted it, it seems fine it's got a 13 megapixel camera yada 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 so it's the same song and dance there's really nothing nothing too exciting here <laughs> including the uh the design but the real superstar here is is the security blackberry saying this is the most secure phone on the market and it really what does that mean so when i start to dig in uh past the marketing material which is interesting they, <laughs> blackberry oftentimes behaves like microsoft where they've got some really dope stuff and their ability to get it across to the people their marketing just blows so when you look into DTAC, it's just a piece of software that pretty much tells you what it think is secure or not secure, and you get a rating based on it. So if you've got, if, if you're not rooted, if you, if you have a, uh, a password on the phone and oh, yada, 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 a bunch of different useless shit, it'll say, oh, you're pretty secure, you're good, and it gives you this needle to gauge. But then if it detects certain things like root access or malware, supposedly malware, I don't know, haven't seen any tests of this, then it'll it'll give you a report and say, yo, you're not safe, your device is not safe, watch out. Now, what about this is any different than anything HTC uh, has done or any different than what BlackBerry themselves have done on the last priv? Uh, 
I couldn't tell, but I dig some deep in it. Uh, I did some, I did some digging or deeper digging. And on a BlackBerry blog somewhere, they, they really go into detail. So there's things like a hardened Linux kernel. And they did some tweaking there and really pulled out a, a, what they thought was bits of the insecure Android part and yada, yada, yada. There's hardware root trust, whatever that means. There's verified boot. There's full disk encryption. So there's actually a good deal of thought behind what this device is and what security should be. And I just wish they would say it. <laughs> like stop stop showing people the silly video and really let let the consumer who's interested in this super secure device see for themselves that this thing really is what you're saying it is so at the end of the day i mean this is not where i would prefer blackberry to be i feel like uh it's about time that we have a priv follow-up uh, and again this thing doesn't have a keyboard one of the other things that again struck me as like huh they're getting away from who they are as a core company it's strange to see a i mean it was strange with with the z10 but you know i i i just i love what blackberry did with the priv man they found a way to be true to themselves and, and really give a dope hardware and finally just on android like that device was so dope and uh this is a dope device maybe uh hopefully there's a priv 2 coming with the same exact uh, security features of this guy and then i think we'll be on to something right and and this is a 400 dollars phone uh versus something like the priv that's actually 700 so you know that's <laughs> that's a huge bit of difference but let me know what you guys think about the uh about <laughs> the dtech 50 does it bother you that this is not something blackberry's design themselves does it bother you that uh <laughs> The, it, it's it's a lot lower spec where you're expecting a flagship. Holla at your boy, man. I'm out of here. Peace.